Born to Ithemio Rodriguez Cárdenas and María Concepción Rosiles de Rodriguez on October 11, 1940, the boy who would become the second Bishop of Lubbock spent his earliest years in Celaya, a city located northwest of Mexico City on the high plains of Guanajuato. María Concepción was a deeply religious homemaker, patient, charitable, and hardworking. She taught her family that a loving presence and prayerfulness are the real bonds of a family. Utemio Rodriguez was a cabinet maker, a master craftsman, whose shop and showroom were next to the family home. He was also a leader in the underground rescue movement that was formed in the 1920s to protect priests during the government's murderous anti-Catholic rampage. The persecution was ending by the time Placido was born, the 11th of 14 children, but the effects of its trauma lingered. He had attended Celaya's Catholic school until January 1953, when, in hopes of leaving that legacy of persecution behind, his parents immigrated to Chicago with their six youngest children. It was there, at St. Francis of Assisi Parish School, on the city's south side, that he first became familiar with the Claritians, a community of priests and brothers who staffed his parish. Blasi already knew he wanted to be a professional of some sort, whether a lawyer, an engineer, or a doctor, he really wanted to be able to make a difference with people. But he now realized that, although a doctor can heal the body for a while, a priest helps heal the soul for all eternity. The matter was then settled in his mind. He decided that the most effective vocation for him was the priesthood, coming to that conclusion at the end of seventh grade. From 1955 to 1959, Placido attended St. Jude, a high school seminary in Illinois staffed by Claritians. He then entered the Claritian novitiate at Los Angeles, where he made his first profession of vows in 1960. Placido continued his education at the Claritian College Seminary until 1964, that same year during which he became a U.S. citizen. From California, he proceeded on to Washington, D.C. for theological studies at the Catholic University of America. After finishing his third year of theology there, Placido Rodriguez made his perpetual profession as a Claritian missionary and was ordained to the diaconate. In 1968, he received his STB and STL degrees from Catholic University. Then, on Ascension Thursday, May 23, 1968, Placido Rodriguez was ordained to the Roman Catholic priesthood and assigned to Our Lady of Guadalupe Church in South Chicago, the parish that is home to the National Shrine of St. Jude. While there, as an associate pastor, he undertook postgraduate work at Loyola University and earned a master's degree in urban studies in 1971. From 1972 until 1975, Father Rodriguez served as pastor of Our Lady of Guadalupe Parish. He then began a six-year term as vocation director for the Claritians' Eastern Province. In 1981, Father Rodriguez was appointed pastor of Our Lady of Fatima Church, an Hispanic parish in Perth Amboy, New Jersey. He served there until October 13, 1983, when the Apostolic Delegate informed him that he had been named an Auxiliary Bishop to work with Cardinal Joseph Bernadine, the Archbishop of Chicago. Ordained to the Episcopacy on December 13, 1983, Bishop Rodriguez became the first North American Claritian Bishop and the first Hispanic Bishop for the Archdiocese of Chicago. On April 5, 1994, Pope John Paul II chose the most Reverend Placido Rodriguez to succeed, founding Bishop Michael J. Sheehan as the Bishop of Lubbock. Through his family background, religious training, and pastoral experience, Bishop Rodriguez promised to bring a special blend of devotion, dedication, and practicality to his new assignment. He had worked in parishes where the needy knocked on rectory doors looking for help. He has continually served as a champion of human rights for all. He has also helped men discern whether or not they have a call to holy orders. He knew firsthand from his father of the need to courageously oppose and outwit those who would destroy the church. He learned from his mother the importance of being prayerful, but not self-righteous. He knows how the values held by the majority of Hispanic Catholics, family stability, a sense of community and a sense of joy, a respect for life and a respect for the elderly can enrich the church. He has a keen sense of humor and a gracious manner. From the high plains of Mexico to the Llano Estacado of Texas, it was a match literally made in heaven. 
On June 1, 1994, the Most Reverend Placido Rodriguez was installed as the second Bishop of Lubbock during a colorful and festive liturgy in the Lubbock Municipal Coliseum. Beginning soon after his installation and working at a gentle but steady pace for the last 14 years, the Most Reverend Placido Rodriguez, now a Claritian priest for 40 years and a Roman Catholic bishop for a quarter century, has made a holy and lasting mark on the character of the Diocese of Lubbock.